Hello everyone. In the previous session, we studied about common source amplifier with and without source resistance. So in this session, we'll study about common drain or source follower amplifier. I'll let you know why it is called source follower amplifier. So before that, we need to understand what a common drain is. So we all know that MOSFET will have the three terminals that is uh, basic three terminals that is gate source and the drain. Since it is common drain, the drain terminal of the MOSFET is connected to ground in this amplifier. Okay, so here it is obtained by establishing signal ground at the drain. Hence, it is called as common drain. Common because it is common, meaning the drain terminal is common to both input port and the output port. Input port is formed between the gate terminal and the drain terminal and the output port is formed between the source terminal and the drain terminal. As you can observe here, this drain terminal is common to both the input port as well as the output port, hence the name common drain. This configuration is also called a grounded drain configuration because the drain terminal of the MOSFET is being grounded here. Okay, and next, the drain will function as a signal ground here in this configuration. So, there is no need of the resistor RD in this configuration. Hence, this resistance RD is eliminated. You can observe here, the resistor RD is not at all connected. It is absent. Okay, next, you can see here, there are two coupling capacitors, CC1 and CC2. The function of the coupling capacitors is to couple the signal from one end to the other end. So what this coupling capacitor CC1 will do is it will couple the input signal to the gate terminal of the MOSFET. As you can see here, this is the gate terminal of the MOSFET. The input signal V signal is being coupled to the gate terminal of the MOSFET by the coupling capacitor CC1 and the coupling capacitor CC2 will couple the source terminal of the MOSFET to the load resistance RL you can see over here. Okay, so I'll repeat it once again. The signal V signal is coupled to the gate terminal of the MOSFET via the coupling capacitor CC1 and the signal at the source terminal is coupled to the load resistance RL by the coupling capacitor CC2. So this is the function of the coupling capacitor CC1 and CC2 and you should note why there is a absence of RD or why there is elimination of the resistance RD because the drain will function as a signal ground, RD is eliminated and it is also known as grounded drain configuration. Please make a note of it and understand why it is called common drain because it is the drain terminal is common to both input port and the output port. So in brief out, this is about the uh, uh, the basic part and uh, next we'll be writing the small signal equivalent model for the common drain amplifier configuration. So you can see that the coupling capacitors are replaced by the short circuit in this small signal model. Other than this uh, coupling capacitor being short circuited and the MOSFET, all the, the other components that is V signal, R signal and the coupling a gate capacitance and the load resistance RL are connected as it is and uh, this MOSFET is replaced with this portion of the circuitry. This is the current source I and uh, the same current I will flow here. This resistance 1 by GM and uh, here we have uh, the small signal output resistance R0. Okay. Since this resistance RL and R0 are in a parallel combination, there will be one more resistance, 1 by GM, in, that is connected in series with this parallel combination. Okay, This 1 by GM resistance is connected between the gate and the ground. Next, here, the input resistance are in. When I look from this side, we will get the value of the input resistance. So this is equal to the RG that is connected over here. So input resistance RN is equal to RG. And then VI, the 
vi is the input voltage that is present over here okay across rg and this is equal to v signal into r in here r in divided by r in plus rg supply voltage divider rule we get this equation vi equal to v sig into r in by r in plus r sig and usually this rg is selected to be much larger than r signal so under such circumstance this rg is equal to r in isn't it so r in plus r sig r signal will almost be equal to r in alone so this uh, fraction will be r in by r in which will be equal to 1 so vi will almost be equal to v signal okay and see here since r not is parallel to rl see here r not is parallel to rl isn't it r not is parallel to rl this will result in resistance 1 by gm between the gate and the drone in series with rl parallel to r not see as i told earlier 1 by gm resistance will appear between the grain gate and the ground terminal which will be in series with the combination of rl parallel r not okay so here we, this input voltage will appear across this total resistance this total resistance is 1 by gm plus parallel combination of rl and r not so v not is equal to v not is equal to v not is equal to meaning the output voltage here the output voltage is equal to vi into parallel combination of r not and rl divided by 1 by gm plus parallel combination of r not and rl okay so this is the equation of output voltage and the voltage gain that is the ratio of output voltage and the input voltage meaning v not by vi so v not by vi will be equal to av so in this equation i will take this vi to the lhs so we v not by vi will be equal to av so remaining will be this rl parallel to r not divided by rl parallel to r not plus 1 by gm so this is the equation for voltage gain and uh, next is the open circuit voltage gain after finding the voltage gain we should find out the open circuit voltage gain open circuit voltage gain meaning the re load resistance will be eliminated or neglected so it will be equal to infinity so av is av this open circuit voltage gain is now indicated as av naught okay av naught will be equal to remove this rl to tell in simple terms just don't write this rl here write all the other terms so rl by rl plus 1 by gm because rl is absent because it is open circuit voltage gain next here we apply one condition that is normally this uh, output resistance small signal output resistance are not will be much much greater than 1 by gm resistance so under this uh, situa situation or circumstance what happens is this r not plus 1 by gm will almost be equal to r not if r not is much much greater than 1 by gm so this fraction will reduce to 1 so av naught will almost be equal to one that is equal to meaning uh, unity so this is the open circuit voltage gain from the drain to gate uh, from the gate to source so open circuit voltage gain means only this much from gate to source whatever the gain is there that is av naught okay so that is equal to unity okay so whatever the voltage is there at the gate the same voltage will appear at the source meaning see here the voltage at the source follows that at the gate meaning the voltage at the source will follow whatever the 
old age is present at the gate. Hence the name source follower. So under this condition, we also find under this condition meaning when R0 is much, much greater than 1 by GM, we also find the value of AV that is here, AV. So R0 is much greater than 1 by GM, isn't it? So here, what will happen? This equation will reduce to RL by RL plus 1 by GM, isn't it? So this is the equation for voltage gain when R0 is much, much greater than 1 by GM. Next, overall voltage gain, meaning from this end, from the leftmost end to the rightmost end, from V signal to R0, no, RL. So that is equal to GV is equal to V0 by V sig. Whatever we got for V0, that is this equation, divided by V sig here. Take from this equation, V sig is equal to V i into R in plus R sig by R in. So V sig is equal to so much, V naught is equal to so much. Just substitute and um, simplify. You will get the overall voltage gain. GV is equal to RG by RG plus R signal into parallel combination of RL and R0 divided by parallel combination of RL and R0 in series with 1 by GM. And next we need to find the output resistance R out. So R out is equal to see, 1 by GM plus R0. Sorry, in parallel combination with R0. See here, these two resistances are in parallel, isn't it? This resistance and this resistance is in parallel. Okay, 1 by GM parallel to R0. Normally, as we considered here, R0 is much, much greater than 1 by GM. So if we apply this condition, the here R out will reduce to 1 by GM. So let's just revise. First, what we found out, we found out the input resistance R in and then input voltage VI. And um, next, we found out the output voltage. And from these two equations, we found out the voltage gain AV. And after this, we found out the open circuit voltage gain by neglecting this R0. Okay, next, we applied this condition for AV0. So AV not reduced to unity. And next we'll apply the same condition to the equation of voltage gain, that is AV. So AV will reduce to so much, okay? After this, we found out the overall voltage gain, that is GV. And next we found out the output resistance. And for that also we applied this condition, R not is much, much greater than one by GM. And in that uh, circumstance, so this R out will reduce to one by GM. So this is about the, common drain or uh, otherwise called source follower amplifier. In the next session, we'll uh, go through the problems from the common source amplifier with source resistance and uh, source follower amplifier. Thank you.